Glory, glory, hallelujah. It is my honor to welcome you to the very last month of the year, the month of December 2023. Hallelujah. You made it. Amen and amen. Against all odds, trials, temptations, uncertainty, everything that the enemy threw at you, you made it after all. All thanks be to God for what he has done for us all. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Today is a day of joy. It's a day of thanksgiving. The very last one for the year 2023. This has been a year of relevance in Christ. And we can all count our blessings and see that indeed God has made us relevant in diverse ways. And we say to him, to him alone be all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. This month of December is our month of divine repositioning, just in line with the theme of this year's annual Holy Ghost Congress. Let me use this opportunity to invite every one of us, every one of you, to the Holy Ghost Congress starting tomorrow. Monday, the 4th of December, running through to Saturday, the 9th of December. The theme, like we all know, is divine repositioning. Administering includes a father in the Lord, the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. Adeboye, and many other anointed ministers of God. You will do well to participate. You can do so by watching it live on Dove Media, Redemption TV. You can follow it on various social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. You can be there live at Kilometer 46, Lagos Ibadan Expressway, the Redemption City. Anyhow you want to participate. All I'm saying to you is that you must make sure that you are a part of it. And as you do so, God will show up for you and reposition you in such a way that your greatness, that original greatness with an extra that God has proposed for you, it will begin to manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Second Samuel chapter 6, verse 11 and 12. Second Samuel chapter 6, verse 11 and 12. The Bible says, the ark of the Lord. It's talking about the Ark of the Covenant of God that moved from where it was captured into a house of a fellow. We'll read it now. The Ark of the Lord remained in the house of Obedidom, the Gittite, three months. And the Lord blessed Obedidom and all his household. Verse 12. Now it was told King David, saying, The Lord had blessed the house of Obedidom and all that belongs to him because of the ark of God. So David went and brought all the ark of God from the house of Obedidom to the city of David with gladness. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. This is the story of how the ark of the Lord, representing God's presence, his sovereignty, his power, his glory, his authority, amen, it was placed in the house of a fellow. And that fellow before that time was a complete nobody. He was inconsequential. He was without influence. He was without reputation. Nobody knew him. But as soon as the ark of God, God's presence, God's authority, God's power, his sovereignty, everything that represents divinity, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, as soon as it was placed in his house, Three months, just three months, there was a transformation, there was a repositioning, there was a shift. It was so great that everybody knew it. It was not unambiguous. There was no denial. Even the king got to know about it. And he too, requiring such blessings, went after the source of the blessing, which is God's presence, represented by the ark of God. Amen. I'm praying that today, you too, as you remain and abide in God's presence, there will be a shift for you. There will be a repositioning. There will be a change. There will be glory in your life 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, as we thank God for all he has done for us, we are going to be praying that that much needed divine repositioning in our lives, our families, our businesses, careers, marriage, and so on. God will make it to happen for us in the mighty name of Jesus. We start with a prayer of thanksgiving because, you know, today is the last Thanksgiving service for the year 2023. And there's so much to thank God for. If we begin to count our blessings and name them one after the other, you will see that God indeed has done great things. He has indeed made us relevant in diverse ways. Psalm 92 verse 1 to 4. Psalm 92 verse 1 to 4. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. To declare your loving kindness in the morning, like we are doing right now, and your faithfulness every night on an instrument of ten strings, on the lute, on the harp, with harmonious sound. For you, Lord, have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hand. I pray that these verses of scripture shall come alive in your life in the name of Jesus. Let us therefore go before God with a heart of humility and begin to thank him. Thank him for his loving kindness. Thank him for his faithfulness. Thank him for his protection. Thank him for his provisions. Thank him for his mercies. Thank him for his promotion. Thank him for restoration. All opportunities that were lost that God brought back your way. Thank him for deliverance, for bringing you out of the clutches, the entrapments of the enemy. Thank him for victories, so many victories on a daily basis. You know, when we go to sleep at night and we wake up in the morning, we have got one victory. Victory over death. Victory over the attack of the enemy. Victory over the noisome pestilence, the fairy darts, all the things that the enemy chose. Victories upon victories. Thank him specially for the joy that we have received. Joy in the midst of everything that is going on. God has kept us in joy. He has kept us rejoicing. And today we are celebrating that we made it up to this time. And we are going to end this month and even cross over to another glorious year that the Lord himself has already prepared for us. Let's go ahead and thank him. If we thank him all throughout this morning, it will not even be enough for that which he has done, for that which he's doing right now, and for that he has proposed to do in the days, in the weeks, and the months ahead, even as we enter into the beginning of another year. Let's go ahead and thank him. Father, we are grateful. We thank you. We can never, ever thank you enough. We cannot repay for what you have done. We continue to thank you. Individually, we thank you. As a family, we thank you. As a church, praise tabernacle, we thank you. As um, a, a men, we thank you. As women, we are thanking you. As youths, we thank you. Even the children, they are saying thank you, Father. We cannot thank you enough. Thank you for all that you continue to do for us. We are indeed extremely grateful. Please accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we have given thanks. Three prayers you're going to pray for yourself this morning. And I'll wrap it up and we'll go into a day of celebration and thanksgiving. Three prayers. Number one prayer, you're going to pray and say, Father, in this new season of divine repositioning, single me out for your divine touch and let my story turn to glory in the name of Jesus. That's number one prayer. You say, Father, in this new season of divine repositioning, single me out for your divine touch and let my story turn to glory in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be for you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Prayer point number two, you pray. You see, 
Divine repositioning can only happen in God's presence or when God is involved. You see, when we talk about divine, we're talking about the combination of the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. It can only happen in God's presence. When, you, when God is not involved, there is nothing like divine. Amen? So when we talk about divine repositioning, it means that God must be involved. So you're going to pray your second prayer, your prayer point number two. You say, Father, as I abide in your presence, let glorious and awesome miracles beyond my capacity, my power, my connection, begin to happen in my life and in my family in the name of Jesus. You say, Father, as I abide in your presence, let glorious and awesome miracles beyond my capacity, my power, and my connections, let it begin to happen in my life, in my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be for you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Finally, your third prayer this morning, you pray and say, Father, in this week of the Holy Ghost Congress, please do not pass me by. Like Obedidom, let me and my household receive the overflowing blessings in the name of Jesus. You say, Father, in this week of the Holy Ghost Congress, please do not pass me by like Obedidom. Let me and my household receive your overflowing blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be for you in Jesus' mighty name we we'll pray. Today, I pray for you. This year will not end in frustration. It shall end in joy for you and your family in the name of Jesus. All your expectations shall not be cut off, but they shall come into reality by the power and the grace of God in the mighty name of Jesus. This last month of the year, God will move for you. He will move concerning you and every member of your household. It will move you from sorrow to joy, from sickness to divine health, from poverty to wealth, from ignorance to wisdom, from, from stagnancy to fruitfulness, from failure to success, and from frustration to satisfaction in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall be divinely repositioned to become the very best in the name of Jesus. I pray for you everywhere that you have been mocked and ridiculed by the reason of God's intervention in your life, you shall be celebrated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever your feet shall step, the gates shall be lifted and the land shall release its abundance unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I pray for you that as you spend time to thank God for all that he has done in this outgoing year, every of your wall of Jericho blocking your greatness shall crumble in the name of Jesus. And you shall be established in greatness, never ever to be small again in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, I pray for you that your life shall continually give glory to God Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I release the blessing of God upon you in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. As you thank God today, God will single you out. He will touch you. He will divinely reposition you. He will do a miracle in your life that will last forever. He will silence every of your mockers. This year, we end in joy for you in the name of Jesus. You will rejoice against all odds in the mighty name of Jesus. That thing that remains for you to celebrate, for your joy to be complete, it will do it for you even in this month. And I pray for you today, God will make you complete and you shall lack nothing good in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be for you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I say to you, Congratulations, you made it and your joy will last forever in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a glorious Thanksgiving day. Have a blessed week. Have a fruitful month and you will end this year rejoicing. So shall it be 
In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Shalom.